Hello, 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 Ginger. Can you helping me? <laughs> uh, Bandit Neb suggested I do a sort of a skull knuckle or a Del Boy's garage or Del Boy's garage of uh, me taking me crash bars off the hell fire. I just got the last ball so which proved to be a real pain in the ass. <sighs> The last time these were off, the bike shop did it. Uh, I think it was in for new tyres and I said, while you're at it, please could you take the crash bars off while it's on your ramp and then bolt them all back together with new bolts on because they'll be rusty. <coughs> and, uh, you know, change the tyres, blah, blah, blah. And they charge labour. And for some reason, you put these buggers in. Instead of a nut, you know, how they are, which has been relatively simple getting them off, the last two on the section I'm going to actually saw off <coughs> tonight or tomorrow. Oh, my lights are going. Piss around with this for the best part of two hours. Let's stay to them. Excuse me, my coffee's coming back. I mean, what is that? Is it some kind of oxidisation on the paint? It doesn't really matter because I'm going to rub all this off. And you can see what I mean, can't you, if you've been watching my videos. That section covers the bloody oil filter up. And that's a mounting point there, so if I saw it off here, <coughs> you know, that's going to mount to a bracket which will be bendy if, if the bike ever goes over. Look at that, I've done the bloody paint off. It is 11 year old bike this year, so I'm not too concerned about rust. You know, it's not like it's my old custom bike. <coughs> oh, the lights have gone marvellous. This is a car battery that powers these up. And that's been in there for seven years. Anyway, they're finally off <coughs> my car battery. Yeah, so. Well, I need to get some, I mean, are they stove enameled or what do you call it, powder coated? Will normal paint stripper get all that old paint off? Is it worth bothering? Just rub them down and spray them, they only crash boys. But like I said, I can get my angle grinder on that. Or maybe I'll hexaw it at first just to see if it's only soft metal. Hexaw might get through that in five minutes. Right, anyway, and like I said, there was another sort on there, uh, what's it called, eBay, uh, made in Poland, and they actually hung down below the oil filter, and were better designed, but, because I've got this belly pan on, it would have uh, made cutting a chunk out of my belly pan. Come off easier than the other one. There's a bugger. Must be very dark, can you see? Oh my god. That's where I've been dolloping on the hammer out over the years. Well, I've only had it two years, three years in uh, July. <coughs> The uh, only thing I'm going to mention, when I wired these uh, horns up, I took one off. <coughs> Where's it gone, that tube? Uh, go to B&Q, if you're doing any wiring job, instead of running a bare wire, you can buy tubes, plastic or metal, and the smaller ones are solid brass. So I ran uh, the live cable through that came out the other side to join up with this because effectively when you press the button it activates the right hand horn and then relays the power to the other one which is a lower tone or a higher tone or whatever so I ran a cable through that and I thought with that middle section being sawn out of the crash bar that's going to be obscuring the bloody oil filter again but it won't because I've noticed there's a little notch in the bracket, the mounting bracket 
behind the exhaust and that'll just rest in the notch with the help of a cable tie and just hope the cable ties don't get red hot I could always use wire but anyway I'll book tomorrow and Friday off work to do this I'll air for drying time I might have a do tonight when I'm naked day at work doing this and I also went for a shufty round Blackburn I've not had a look round the shops for years <clears throat> and these are going cheap at Maplin's I've got a little plastic project box to replace that I never liked that chrome bracket so them little plastic boxes <clears throat> is going to replace that never like that <sighs> still have the LED there to show the spotlights run but I've decided to mount the spotlights later when the paint on them crash bars is fully dried good if I could powder coat them but like I said the crash bars at the end of the day and it's not a shore bike is it Oh well, so I'm a bit concerned about my bike falling over on this slope so I fastened that to the well effectively a gate post I was going to put a gate there originally but I just built a little wall instead <coughs> I got these little lights from you see that lovely £3.19 for a glass a glass garden light from Jisk place called Jisk and Maplin's these <coughs> fibre oxide lights you see that lovely oh, be nice at night sound flashing all on all the time cut all my roses down but the little buds appearing so I'll give them another try right ties and horn removed temporarily I'll tidy up now and now we're losing daylight <sighs> yes as I said this is my workshop so it's a mess Assignments of cheap Spanish, don't need fancy ones to do bike maintenance. That's good, isn't it? That was from uh, Aldi. Turn your drill into a right angled thingy to get too hard to get areas to drill. Only about seven quid that. I've never actually used it. <laughs> it's a torque wrench I got years ago when I had me, when I had me 125, I think, not that many years. Always torque your. Uh, in fact, I think that's why my chain's gone slack again. And we're not using my torque wrench on the back axle. I give it plenty, and it clicks. But it's probably not set enough. I'll have to consult the manual. But that's another little job I'll be doing tomorrow. Although it's forecast rain tomorrow. Okay. Not ideal for painting when it's raining with damp air. And the paints I've got. Like I said, excuse a mess, but it's a busy workshop. <laughs> Where are we? Uh, that's not it, that's not it, that's it. <coughs> Let me see, metal protection spray paint. It looks like a garden fence type of thing, but I suppose it's like hammer out, although we're only two ninety nine from Aldi. I hope it isn't a case where you get what you pay for. It should do the job, shouldn't it? As I keep saying, it's only for a bloody crash bar. It's not for anything that's going to be seen close up. I suppose I'll see him close up if I slide down the road and end up with me back on the top of me. Should I mention something depressing? Another biker down and died. Another local lad from Clitheroe, age 55. I say lad, you know, but... There's a younger picture of him on the front page of the local paper. And you know where it happened? Up in the bloody Lake District, out with some pals. And it said there was no other vehicle involved, he just went off the road. And that's always been a concern of mine. <coughs> if you're in the Lake District, I admire the lovely view. Oh, look at that, oh, look at that, isn't that lovely? Oh, oh. And then if you look, you know what I mean? If you're, if you're on a windy country lane, that would be me looking at all the lovely views. 
And maybe that's what's happened. You know, the lads might have been a minor view and wallop her off the bloody road and down a ravine or something. Anyway, I bet the details will come out. I just thought I'd mention it. I'm not one to dwell on bad news, but we've had that lad, Kevin Donoghue, on February 2nd, and now this lad last Saturday at 6 pm out with some mates in the Lake District. So the message is ride carefully out there, please. If you're going to go somewhere nice and scenic, slow down. Admire the view by just chugging merrily away. You know, I'm not saying it was going too fast this lab, but something's happened with no other vehicle involved. He's a well known in the local biking community in Clitheroe, but I didn't know him. But the bike shop owners did. <clears throat> and on that sad note, I'll say goodbye. I'll do another follow up to this when it's. I'm not going to fanning around doing every single step. But I'm going to replace those tatty horns at last with the new ones I got last year and never got around to using. Finally, fit a new oil filter because that has been in the drawer for over a year. I couldn't get to it. I mean, imagine the struggle I had then, two hours getting rusty bolts off just to replace an oil filter. It's not on, is it? So, I'll get access to my oil filter now with those lugs sawed off. Sawed off. It's only a cheap thing that. I got it free when I got my oil. <coughs> I got it free. Ages ago. I got it mail order. Although the last oil I got was from Halfords. <coughs> Where are they? There they are. Da -da -da -da. Nice shiny ones. Maybe I should paint that black. I've got some liquid hammerite, of course, when I spent a bloody fortune at when that do it yourself drove a closing down. It's still fourteen ninety nine. Down from twenty four ninety nine. So I paint all that with black hammerite. Maybe. It won't be showing. And like I said, I might be refitting my spotlights. But they just went it wasn't actually the body of the lights that went rusty, it was all the little mounting points. The rivets went rusty, you could always dab them with hammerite. What are you doing, Blackie? <coughs> Some chrome ones. Oh, yeah. Who are trying to sell them to? Oh, FGR Biker Paul, I said, uh, when you had a new do on the motorway, I said, get some loud horns like mine. Super loud for 10 quid. But uh, he said he's already got some. What about Hepcat Harley? We've got some decent horns, Hepcat, on your bike. You've got some chrome ones. You can have them, seeing as you've uh, bought stuff off me in the past. Anyway, I think that's all for now. It's just a little update what I'm doing for the next couple of days. And on that note, and on that bombshell, yeah, Clarkson's been sacked, hasn't he? Although I think he'll be getting uh, lots of offers to do all this stuff. Ah, right, Blackie. That's where his catnip usually is. Alright, goodbye. Oh, is that your food? No, you haven't. Have you left your food, fatty? Eh? You normally stuff it down then you're sick. Yeah, if that's all. And on that bombshell, it's goodbye. Like I said, I'll do an update when it's all back together and shiny. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>